we had to keep the wheels moving uh, quite literally you know keep the wheels moving yeah. so that we can go places and we can make it work you know but quitting our our jobs at one point or another whatever the time frame was and then jumping full time and you know getting to the getting to venice because our launch event was on venice for our family friends and few people that we invited yeah was it at abikini or was it like when you say it was was it at a house was it on a street so was the launch <laughs> funny um the office in which i was working with they it was a uh, kind of like a multi-use place with a huge courtyard in the middle and they had two buildings on sites right and that was on one of the offices and then the other person was the one renting it out so i went up to her and i was like listen i'm leaving but can i use your parking lot <laughs> yeah. for the next weekend so that i can have my launch event and then she's like sure bring the vehicle over and yeah. we drove there our first time like my first time ever driving her for more than an hour uh because it takes an hour and 45 minutes to get from downtown to venice yes her. yes it was really interesting and i was on the phone with him every minute because i was like if i break down you're gonna need to come and get me <laughs> yeah. and it happened a few times but not on the road over there but afterwards um and then we get there and then we do the the launch event not knowing what's gonna ex- happen and i don't have a job anymore I, i don't have the income that i used to have but right it's like are we gonna be able to sell enough coffee for us to sustain the business the debt and ourselves yeah all of that runs through <laughs> my mind and it was it was sad it was bleak uh for a moment and you know all of a sudden like weeks later from parking at venice we get this call from it was kind of like a broker for food trucks and they're like listen my starbucks is closing down it's on a very busy area in century city can you do a whole month monday through friday 7 a.m to 3 p.m to wow. serve wow and we're like yeah sure let's do it yeah. let's go right now yeah we'll do this and we'll do that and yeah. it was kind of like the first realization that we actually had something good without people trying us mm-hmm. and you know we the day comes and then we're like okay here we go we don't know what to expect right we yeah. drive up we park all these things are happening starbucks is closed and <laughs> i remember looking at him because he's at the bar i'm taking orders And I remember looking at him and we had a line outside and this was like about 8 30 in the morning. Oh, how we good were, was that? It was awesome. And like the realization. It was like, terrifying. I've never been a barista before this. So perfect. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it was a good <laughs> way to <laughs> learn. Yeah. You know, we had oh. a line outside and I look over and I'm taking my time writing orders. I'm like, what would you like? Let me explain <laughs> to you the origin of this coffee that I have today. It is right. a great, this 85 points, whatever. And we had a line and people were starting to get angsty. You know, they were starting to be like, right, hurry up. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just doing so inefficiently. And that moment, I remember looking at him and we had drinks at the bar. Like they just spanned everywhere. We get to like maybe like 245. We're out of water. We're out of coffee. We are out of our minds, like dirty. Yeah. We are tired. And we're like, what did we just get ourselves into? And we look (laughs) at the sales and we're like, wow. You did good. It's a great day. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we were like, okay, I think this is going to be fine. But then we do it the next day and another line and the next day and another line and the next day and another line. So the whole month that we were there was like lines out the door. And at one point, like halfway through our residency there, we were so like quick, like lightning fast. I felt like that we were kind of like having multiple arms, like um, Doctor Strange yeah, and the Avengers. Octopus. Like it was just like everywhere. I was <laughs> everywhere. I was grabbing ice. I was grabbing syrup. He was like pulling shots. He was like cleaning the machine. He was like, you know, all these things. Yeah. And so I think towards the end, we were like, wow, we served 200 to 250 people daily. You know, we that's a good this. amount. It was really that's good. A that's a lot I of tickets. Really, yeah, that's, really small that's really healthy truck. And you what know? were your hours there? It was like seven to three. Kind seven of to thing. three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were running out of coffee, water, and food, without a doubt, every single day. And then we're like, okay, this is this is. You found at least it gave you a. So this is the ah, man. I tell people like serendipity is such a part of business. Yeah. And like you never know until you just do it. You'll never yeah. know. You can't business plan it. It'll happen. How right. it happens, nobody yeah. will ever know. 